smoke, but no visible signs of fire. Looks more like signal flares. Gonna say this is probably a false alarm or a prank. Copy that. You're clear to proceed. Ah, I told you this was a prank. I don't see any fire. <sighs> who in their right mind finds this kind of thing funny? People who enjoy causing a commotion. Huh. Hey, check it out. What in the hell? Hmm. Oh, shit. Can't we just report this one in and go? Come on, man. You know we can't just leave this be. In Japan, 99.9% .9 of criminal trials end with a guilty verdict. That makes the odds for a defense lawyer to get an acquittal about 10,000 to 1. But I beat those odds on a murder case. It's a hell of an achievement. Unfortunately, it came with a price. The death of an innocent woman. The shadows of truth escape the courtroom, and when they do, Someone has to drag them back into the light. The reality is, the law is neither as perfect or as fair as it's supposed to be. So I've made it my job to give those without a voice a chance to be heard. Hey, uh, talk. What? Man, I'm bored. It sucks. How about you hit me with some trivia then? That would pass the time. Oh, I mean, come on, man. You never know how long a stakeout's gonna last. Even Keiko chan's losing her mind. I'm sure she is. Give me a sec to come up with a zinger, okay? <laughs> Okay, sure. You think up a tough question, and I just leave you to your thoughts. Wait a damn minute! How does that even solve this problem then, man? Um, Kaito-san? I don't think I'm really in the mood for trivia at the moment. Okay, fine. We gotta spice this up somehow. So, Keiko-chan, this internet boy, How'd you end up on the raw end of a scam like this? How is this spicing things up? Besides, we don't even know for sure if it was a scam yet, right? Exactly. Kaito-san here is just jumping to conclusions. It'll be fine, Keiko-san. Don't worry. At Yagami Detective Agency, we make sure our clients' hearts are at the heart of our business. <laughs> That's so great to hear. I know I hired just the right people. Damn straight. Sunshine and rainbows with us. Kosuke kun did say he always eats fast food for lunch. Yeah, but after 20 minutes, you'd think he'd be done by now. I don't know. He always makes me worry. Even his eating habits. Hey, Keiko-chan. How'd a sweet girl like you get roped in by some dude off the net, huh? I wouldn't call it that at all. Would you believe me if I said we took it slow at first? I 
would say his patience paid off. Maybe it's hard for you to see, but he is a caring guy. So he drags you to the shadiest dive in Kamurocho and calls it a date? <laughs> Sounds like a real catch. He was just trying to impress me. He, he couldn't have known what would happen. Then he sticks his own girl with a bill? Dickhead doesn't begin to describe him. I mean, he is still in college. And besides, he said if we didn't pay, they'd call the Yakuza to collect. So they bled you out of 800 grand, and 400 still to go, for a total of 1.2 mil. It'd be practically impossible to pay all that in one lump sum. Exactly. That's where Kosuke Kun's idea came in. He said I could make some easy money working one of those clubs. Yeah, I'll bet he did. Did he say anything about working with those Yakuza from the start? Got a nice girl, they go out, he racks up a tab. Next thing you know, she's on the same shit, different day in this town. Now you're just jumping to conclusions. Besides, a business taking advantage of people like that would have gotten shut down in no time, right? <sighs> Afraid not. Some lines the law just can't cross until it's too late. But I do owe you some credit for turning to a man like Genda Sensei. He's been defending the city a long time now, and his team's rock solid. Yeah, and when things get too dirty for them, Genda calls in guys like us to clean it up. Good for you, I guess. Listen, Keiko-chan, I hate to be so blunt, but those case told until you see that for yourself. There's not much we can do for you. Ain't no, let's not jump the gun, Kaito-san. We don't have proof of anything yet. Speaking of which, there's our man of the- <gasps> Kosuke-kun! I'm gonna need to follow him. You two stay here. Hopefully we'll get this all cleared up. <laughs> About time we saw some action. Careful out there. Hey, Tak, you read me? You gonna be okay tailing this guy? Or do you need the detective basics manual? Kaido-san, please. I could tail him in my sleep. <laughs> the manual says to keep your eyes open, actually. All right, let's go. That app? Must be my imagination. Kaito-san, we made contact with a new face. I'm gonna get a shot as evidence. Good call.
Try and find out. I'll be in touch. Man, I haven't seen you in forever, Sakura Chai. It's because you barely show up to the club events, Kosuke Senpai. I probably wouldn't have seen you today either if I hadn't mistaken someone else for you. Sorry, I've just been so busy. I know, I gotta make time for the club. I know you've got a busy schedule. But it's not the same without you, Senpai. A lot of girls quit because you stopped showing up, you know? Oh, damn. That sucks. Uh, guess I better make some effort, huh? Yeah, that'd be great. But Senpai, while we're on the subject... Yeah? I hope you won't do anything that'll get those girls' hopes up either. I don't know if you know this, but the girls had a few big fights, actually. All that anger could boil over in your direction at any time is all I'm saying. Yeah? Wouldn't want that. I'll be careful. Well, I've got to get going to my next thing. Okay. Make sure you stop by the club, huh? These directions are terrible. Yes, it's okay. Set. That's Yagami. He's the detective who reported Anaki's affair to his old lady. Yeah, fuck that guy! Anaki got so pissed he took it out on us! Still fucking sore about it! Yo, Yagami! Just your luck to be passing by us today. You're a dead man, bro! Man, this neighborhood never changes, does it? Thank you. 
Get more cash. Guess I'll stop by the Popo. Too close. These directions are terrible. Yes, it's okay. It's okay.
Tack, give me your status. What's Kosuke up to? Not a whole lot right now. He's just wandering around town. Pretty much killing time like your average college student. Any idea where he's headed? Good question. Actually, he just ducked into a building. I'm going after him. Hey, buddy. You new here? You can't just go waltzing in. And why not? Because I said so, that's why. Now beat it. Hey, didn't I tell you to leave? Don't make me call the cops on your ass. Isn't that a little excessive? All I wanted was to look around. Well, there's nothing to see here, so go look somewhere else. There's definitely more to this place than meets the eye. What the...